The VR fitness trend is here to stay. VR is introducing new people to exercise in a way that is fun, motivating, and easy. So if you have fallen in love with this mode of working out, then this video is for you, as I am going to be sharing my top 10 tips for VR fitness. I am just getting ready for my VR workout, and the first thing I need to do is to make sure I am wearing something loose and comfortable. I stay away from shirts that are too loose though, as it is easy for arms to get tangled up while playing. I also prefer doing my VR workouts barefoot, as there are no added weights being used and I am not doing any big jumps. This way, my feet, ankles, and balance also gets a workout. Part of making sure I am properly set up includes a couple of upgrades to my headset and controllers. The first thing you should upgrade is your headset cover or inlay. Make sure that you get a cover that can be easily cleaned off after each use. The VR cover has a great soft cushion, which not only feels great on your face, but also help from any perspiration guiding into the glasses and fogging them up. I would also recommend that you look into getting a grip. When working out in VR, our hands often get sweaty and it can be easy to lose grips on the controllers when making fast movements, like throwing a punch. Now, it might be tempting to upgrade your head strap and to get something like a battery pack put on it. But just know that when you are working out in VR, you are moving around and the added weight of a battery pack on the back of the head can put on extra strain on your neck as well as feel uncomfortable. So unless you're planning to do games and beat saber sessions for over two hours, I suggest you leave it off for the workout sessions. I am so lucky to have a great designated space where I can do my VR workout. And this is going to be my next tip. Make sure that you clear a designated area. If that means moving a chair or a table away or clearing a corner of your basement, do your best to find a space you can consistently work out in and have enough room to do so. Many games require a 2x2 two two meter space, but there are less demanding games that will make you break a sweat as well. Allow some margins when you're setting up your borders. I have punched a wall way too many times because I was going so fast, I didn't notice I was overreaching. Having a designated VR space also makes it easier to take the steps to get off of the couch and into your workout, as you already have the space and tools to do so. Before starting your workout, make sure you have a goal. Are you looking to just add move minutes, lose weight, or tone up? Set goals that are attainable based on where you are now and the type of commitment you can put into your workout routine. Break the goals down into sub-goals that you can easily track and hit to keep that motivation going. And this brings me to my fourth tip. Use a fitness tracker. If you are looking to be losing weight and know that you have to work out and burn 500 calories per day, then using a tracker is the best way to find out if you are putting in enough effort. Even though some games have in-game trackers, these can be incredibly inconsistent and even wrong depending on your fitness level and body type. So using an analog tracker such as a Fitbit or smartwatch is recommended. And tip number five follows the same thought. When you go to select your game, workout intensity, and length, make sure that you are selecting something that will actually get you to your goals. Take time to make sure you're playing games that will give you the intensity suited for your needs and current fitness level, and make a plan so that you can hit your goals. Few things kill motivation faster than not seeing progress. As a personal trainer who's been working with clients in the VR space for quite some time now, tip number six comes from something I see quite often which is don't overdo it. There is rarely a need to push until you can't stand up straight or for you to go for hours every single day. Give your body time to adjust to new routines, get rest, and avoid adding additional stress to your system. More is not necessarily better. And here's another tip I give my clients all the time. Film yourself. Use your cell phone and film a couple of minutes of your VR workouts, preferably towards the end when you're starting to get tired. Use this video to look for proper movement and form so that you can avoid any injury and also maximize your workouts. Tip number eight is to change things up. Plateaus happen all the time when we are working on our health and fitness, but change helps us overcome those plateaus. And there are so many good VR fitness apps and games out there these days. There's no need to do the same routine every single day. And tip number nine is going to be remember nutrition. Good nutrition is important for any exercise routine and plays an important role when working towards your goals. It can help you feel less stiff and sore, give you more energy, and improve the quality of your workouts. And if your goal is to lose weight, 
taking control of your nutrition is even more important than adding exercise to your routine. And my final tip is tell someone. Let someone know that you have started your VR fitness journey and what your goals are. Telling a friend or even a workout buddy helps keep us accountable. You can even join an online community to help keep you on track. The link to my Discord is in the description and we are always there posting our workouts, sharing our progress and cheering each other on. I would love to know what your goals are in more detail, so don't be shy. And while Discord is loading up, make sure to check out this video here on how to maximize your VR workouts even further.